Sagittarius, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what your updated messages are. I apologize, I've been way a while. I've had uh, laryngitis and it seems to have gotten a lot better, thankfully. So anyhow, I'm here and let's dig in. Let's see what's going on for you. So this reading is for anybody with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some things may resonate now, some things can resonate in the future, and some things may resonate vice versa, meaning it could be the person's energy coming into your life or already is in your life that is showing up, okay? It could be anybody. It could be a family member, a friend, an interest, a crush, a love, an ex, somebody brand new. Ooh, just as I said that. <laughs> Sagittarius, what you got going on? Okay, what I'm seeing here is that somebody has kind of been undecided whether or not to walk away from a connection all right i feel like somebody's been working really hard throwing themselves into their work their business their you know just whatever their routine is is kind of what i'm seeing i'm definitely getting here that somebody wants to reach out i feel like it's really weighing them down um if they walked away from you or you walked away from them they're very anxious to come towards you here now there is I want to say a really deep spiritual connection here okay there is the two of cups so there's definitely a bond here between you and someone else they see you as like loving nurturing supportive they see you as very balanced very like you give unconditional love they see the whole enchilada with you meaning that they see a happy family happy home happy life with you okay i feel like for some of you you may have walked away from this person because you thought could you could build a future with this person, all right? And they were indecisive. They didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know which direction they were going. So you may have had to have walked away from this person, but now it's breaking their heart that you walked away. It's really weighing them down, and they want to come towards you. But they're it's like they're trying to tiptoe back in. They're being very careful because they know that they were indecisive previously. You may have thought of this person as really sneaky, not trustworthy, um, is kind of what I'm getting. I definitely seen here that this person, though, you know, albeit that they were indecisive, I feel like they've had time to think about things. I do feel like they want to take the action. They want to reach out. They want to say they're sorry for, you know, being indecisive. It can be that they weren't sure if they wanted long term. Like you may have told them, you know, I want something long term, you know, but this person, like you are coming up as a queen, okay? Female, male, it doesn't matter. It's the energy. You're coming off as mature and supportive and all these things. This person isn't coming off like that. This person is coming off as like hot, cold, hot, cold, and then wanting stability. Like they're like a roller coaster of emotions. Like this person really doesn't know what they want, okay? I do feel at the end of the day, they they are missing you. They they are feeling, um, you know, heartbroken without you in their energy because I feel like many of you did. You walked away and some of you threw yourselves into your work and now they're wanting to rush towards you to create this happy family, happy home, happy life with you. Whatever the two of you want together, that's what they're wanting to do now. But it's like they're having to tiptoe in because they're realizing here that, you know, you're getting away from them and they see everything with you. But the, the feeling is, is that this person is used to being in and out of people's lives, meaning they're not used to being serious is kind of what I'm seeing. And it can be because they feel such a deep spiritual connection with you that it kind of like caught them off guard and, and, and kind of caused them a little bit of a panic. I would say a lot of panic, actually. So we're going to pull out the confessions of a soulmate here, but we're going to read them near the end of the reading. So don't go anywhere. We're also going to get messages from your person here. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. What is going on for Sagittarius's person of interest? How are they currently feeling towards Sag Sagittarius? I can't talk. I'm still getting over my laryngitis. It's a lot better, but still room for improvement. And um, yeah, I had a bit of a rough sleep last night, so I'm trying to catch up on sleep as well. But anyhow, it's nice to be back. And uh, let's see. Ooh, moving on. Moving on up. There's a six of swords. So I definitely feel like your person wants to move on to a place of peace. They want to bury the hatchet, whatever happened between you two. 
Uh, they may have broken your heart. They want to apologize for that, you know, because it caused you to walk away or vice versa. They may have walked away, turned a blind eye to connection, pretended they didn't care. Whatever the reason is, they're hoping to bury the hatchet. They see this very fiery passion in the beginning with you. So what's interesting is that it's, it comes down to what I said before. With the Knight of Wands here, and again, it's hard for you to see these, okay? They're very, very tiny. And the Knight of Swords, this is somebody that can fly off the handle. Um, you may have showed up unexpected in your life. I don't know. But what's happening here is the spark they feel with you is, is again, it was, it's been intense for them. Um, so you may have just met out the blue or I don't know. It, it's kind of like maybe met on your travels for some of you here. But the spark is, is undeniable here. But, you know, it's also like maybe they felt like it was too intense, too passionate. Maybe they weren't sure if it could stand the test of time. But once you walked away or they walked away or they felt you disconnect, you disconnect emotionally, um, that broke their heart, I'm getting. So that's maybe when they realize. Let's see the Ace of Wands. Wow. Yeah, Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past or that you feel, again, there's that soul-to-soul -soul connection. The angels are trying to bring you two together. So perhaps, you know, you needed to walk away from this person for them to realize what you what you mean to them and, and how much happiness they can experience with you is what I'm seeing. Wow. They want to balance your connection. They really do. They don't feel the same without you in their energy. Not at all surprising. Okay. Because you, you know, you're fiery, you're feisty, you're passionate, you're loving, you're desirable, you know what you want. And you've got a lot of love to give here is what I'm seeing here. And again, this can go vice versa. This is for anybody with Sagittarius in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I highly encourage you to check your other placements in your chart uh, where you will, you know, find different messages from different placements. If you click on Shacey Tarot after you find out your placements, you will see the playlist there, okay, for the different zodiac signs. I use astrosofa.com to figure out the placements, but you can use whatever free resource you want. There's lots out there. Let's see what's going on. What are the mutual energies between Sagittarius and the person they're dealing with or will be dealing with? Then we're going to get the advice and guidance, the Tarot charms, and then we'll do the confessions of the soulmate. Okay, so there may have been interference in this connection. Okay, it could be a family member, a friend, uh, could be somebody else. It could be that this person had a choice between you and someone else, um, or you did. You know, take what resonates for, for you. You definitely have felt maybe this person, you know, have hasn't been upfront with you, so you walked away. You may have felt this person was in and out. You couldn't trust them. You couldn't depend on them. And so, yeah, you may have closed this chapter, but now they want a second chance. Whatever interference there was, they've been learning their lessons, I feel. And now here they come. Oh, yeah. See, they want to communicate. They're coming in slowly, very carefully. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to approach you is what I'm getting. So expect this person to approach you in kind of a very gentle, sweet, slow, loving, stable wise way. They want to show you that they can be stable instead of impulsive and reckless and unreliable, <laughs> which is beautiful. And just as I said that, we have beautiful here. So they feel like you are really beautiful inside and out. That message has been coming up a lot. Okay. You could be dealing with someone with the name Jack or this person is a jack of all trades I'm hearing. So this person may like really be able to do it all or maybe they feel like you can do it all. That's kind of what I'm getting. How strange. I've never got that before. We have the canoe. Now this has been coming up a lot. So it can represent that this person wants to take you out in nature, a romantic little canoe trip or um, yeah, it could be around the mountains, the lakes. Very nice. Let's get your spirit messages. What are the spirit messages you have for Sagittarius? What are the spirit messages you have for Sagittarius? So even, doing, even though I'm doing these messages now, this could resonate two months from now, six months from now, all the way up to a year. I've had things happen for me. Personal readings are open at Shacy.com. All the information you could ever want and more is down below in the description area. Feel free to click on it and check that out. Um, Shacy.com. I also have my Shacy Tarot deck, which I love to use for the mutual energies, as you just saw me use. So check that out as well. 
And hitting the like button would be fantastic and a free way to support these free readings. I truly appreciate it. Only takes a millisecond. And hitting the notification bell as well is so important. Or you may never find my channel again if you're brand new. I'd love to have you as a new subscriber. That is free to subscribe. Okay, wow, we have dog loyalty. Awesome. You may be feeling like those around you let you down or are not doing their fair share of the work. This comes as a reminder that loyalty exists and you must not settle for anything less. You deserve better than mixed signals. What was I saying? So somebody's been, you know, giving you mixed signals, been in and out of your life. They haven't given you or shown any, any kind of stability. They've been showing you that they're very unreliable then feel free to walk away from that person because spirit is saying you deserve so much better. You give unconditional love, happiness, support. You deserve to be supported and loved in return. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on for the final messages. I'm pulling the double decker vintage Zolar deck. This is from the 1960s and the 1970s for those of you that are brand new. Let's see what's going on. Oh, they love you. This is your divine counterpart. We have the king and queen of cups. This is from the 1970s deck. Can you believe it? These are, what, 54 years old. Yeah, 54 years old. OMG, look at that. I think it's 54 years old. I can't think right now. I have not had enough sleep this past couple weeks. So the magician is in reverse. So this person... You know, if they have been kind of manipulative in and out of your life, you felt like they were messing with your head and your heart, they're not going to do that anymore. They love you and they, they're trying to figure out how to come in and make this right with you. Wow, that's beautiful. Claim that. Very nice. Okay, so this person's been learning a few lessons. Great. Somebody that learns their lessons. That's fantastic. Woo, woo. <laughs> Not everybody does, right? We have the Six of Wands. So I really feel like, you know, they want to come in and show you in a very prideful way that, you know, they've overcome their challenges, any challenges that there were that they're overcoming them. They want to tell you or show you how they feel. They may bring you a, a you know, a small token of appreciation here. Okay, so there's death. So they've gone through a transformation. They feel like they're rising above any inner conflict, outer conflict, or any kind of interference that happened between the two of you. It could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo Sagittarius, of course, Aries, a Libra Aquarius, Gemini. Basically, have all the signs here. OMG, we got Six of Cups again. So double clarification of the Six of Cups, okay? Once in the Tour of Dreams deck and once in the Vintage Zolar deck, okay? So it's the end of any kind of drama or arguments or disagreements or any kind of challenges. We're going towards our soulmate. For some of you, it can be a twin flame with the Two of Cups here. Either way, it doesn't matter. It is a soul-to-soul -soul connection, meaning there is a very deep level soulmate here that you have a soul contract with. So they're ending any... You know, if they were attention, if they were seeking attention, like they're an attention seeker, they're ending that as well because they feel like they found the one that they're meant to be with. Wow, Sagittarius, that is lovely right there. Very nice. I do feel like, you know, the way to a person's um, heart and soul is to be honest and open here and um, don't settle, don't ever you know, start as you mean to go on, I say, don't settle for mixed signals. Okay, one, two, three, you are meant to hear all three messages from your soulmate. But the first one you choose is going to be your strongest message, your second, your second, and your third, your third. Are you ready? All right, first message. Forgive. I hope you will forgive me for all the things I've done and all the pain for which I caused you. Yeah, it's really weighing this person down. We've got heartbreak and the 10 of wands. And then we've got the Knight of Swords. It's like they're really anxious to fix this mess, okay? But believe me, my love, that was not my intention. I know I've hurt you pretty badly with my words and actions, but I'm ready to truly um, show you my love. They're ready to truly show you their love. Wow. Next message. Let go of fear. 
I have no fear of making mistakes. Nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you. There are no mistakes on this journey, only soul lessons. Everything happens for a reason. It's safe to be vulnerable with me. So they want you to let go of any fears, worries, or doubts that they really are coming in with a true and honest offer, albeit slow. Um, I feel like they're treading very carefully towards you because they already hurt you once, twice for some of you, three times for others of you. But it's up to you at the end of the day um, what you decide. We all have free will, but they've definitely been going through a transformation here. Um, so endings bring new beginnings. And, you know, we've got six of wands, the six of swords and the six of cups. So 666 in this case is a very fantastic um, reading to have because that means we're leaving all of the challenges behind and we're getting past them. We can work through this. I want to be loyal to you. I want to communicate to you here. You are my soulmate. You know, you are my person. Expectation. I want to be all that you want me to be. I don't want to disappoint you. I know you have a lot of expectations for me and I'm trying to stand for that. But at times I feel so far away that I am afraid to let you down or disappoint you. So sometimes they're just worried that they can't meet your expectations. They want to be all that you want them to be. Okay. So again, I have to reiterate that this person is at a night level. You're at a queen level. Whoever I'm talking to, again, feel free to flip the energies. You know who you are. Okay. So one of you is still going through lessons. You haven't quite evolved yet. We've got the king of cups so that came out, which tells me that they are evolving, that they want to you know, stop hiding from this love. They want to take the next step with you. They don't want to be in and out of your lives anymore. They want to, you know, show you how they feel um, in a tangible way. And they want to take it slowly. Some of you could be dealing with someone with the name of Dan or Dawn. Okay. And their home is their castle. So this person, home sweet home, is very, very important to them. Okay. And we have the Paris Tower. Maybe some of you... Uh, want to go to Paris or they want to take you to Paris or maybe some of you live in Paris. Um, could be a journey you're going to be taking. Some of you could be dealing with someone with the name Mia. Okay. You are definitely in this person's heart. Wow. This heart is shooting and growing flowers right here. I know it's really hard for you to see, but um, you're definitely in this person's heart and they want to be romantic with you is what I'm getting. Let's get one final spirit message for Sagittarius. What are the final messages, please? OMG, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to take the first one that flew over here because there's just too many that came out. All right, so let's see. Cardinal Adventure. Wow, wasn't I just saying like you're going to go on a trip maybe to Paris or whatever the case may be. You need to live it up to your fullest potential. Explore new directions and take risks in order to grow as an individual. Change may be uncomfortable but it is necessary. Wow. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Sending you much love, much light. I hope it resonated for you. Again, please don't forget to hit the like button. It helps other Sagittarians to understand um, messages that are meant for them now or coming toward them in the future and helps definitely others to understand your energy better. So it truly is a win-win. I will see you all again next time. Don't forget again to check your other placements. Namaste. Bye for now.